Hello guys and welcome to Raw. We're only a few weeks away from of course WrestleMania and I am alongside Tim Price here. Yes, I'm um, yeah, a few short weeks away from well the show Cassie Immortals and yes I'm here to fill in for well Maz Freeway after still the disgusting occurrences on NXT. Yeah that disgusting occurrence of course with Brother Visa on NXT. Maz still unable to show up I mean what? Just Brother Viz is really messing us up here and taking out Maz, but we have to move on with the show anyways. Jamie Lethal will be going against Morgan Wolf here. And well, here comes the man, the man that Maz likes to call him, Jamie Non-Lethal, but he has a little bit of help today here. He's got the local hero, DM West, out here on the outside for him. Very interesting, yes. The local hero, I mean, oh, I think Maz is completely right. Jamie non lethal, I mean, this guy just can't seem to get the job done around here. Well, and I mean, well, he, he has DM West, but. Well, I mean, he has been doing his job just right, I guess. But Jamie lethal, he just has been able to find a finish yet, and really, I don't think he'll be able to find a finish against a man like Morgan Wolf. Morgan Wolf, really one of the most dominant champions here on Raw. I have to agree with that. I mean, if, if Jamie Non Lethal does get a victory here tonight, it's not like it's going to be, you know, a legitimate victory or anything because he's got help out there. Yeah, of course, he's got help from the number one contender, the man that's going to be going against Morgan Wolf at WrestleMania. Of course, the local hero, DM West. Well, I think a lot of people are really looking forward to WrestleMania, especially what DM West is going to do for his, uh, for his entrance. Yeah, I saw, I saw the entrance at um, the Royal Rumble, and that was something to, well, witness something entertaining. Can't wait for WrestleMania. Yeah, I'm sure he's going to be bumping it up there for WrestleMania, the biggest show of the year, of course. But now we're just waiting on the United States Champion. And, well, here he comes, here comes Morgan Wolf, our United States Champion, our only United States Champion. Yep, our only one, the man with a plan, that uh, is Morgan Wolf. And, well, because Morgan Wolf could do in a ring, I think he could quite easily dominate a man like Jamie, well, non lethal. It just, it wants as if he's going to get distracted at any point by DM West being out there. Yeah, of course, that is the big benefactor here. DM West is out there. He's going to try to help Jamie Wheat through any way he can, try to stop Morgan Wolf's momentum going towards WrestleMania so he can. Finally, take the gold off of Morgan Wolf. Morgan looking ready here. Yeah, just well, Morgan Wolf is record saying that he is the world well, longest training champion in GWF so far in a short history. Mm -hmm. Of course, he picked it up on the very first episode of GWF, the first ever champion. Well, since he hasn't lost it, of course, the longest reigning champion. So you have to see well what happens in this matchup. As all yeah, Leaf will go straight out the gate. See, this is what he needs to do. Yeah, he needs to really be aggressive and really maybe the local hero DM West is teaching him some things. He's trying to help him so he can can get a win over Morgan Wolf. And well, I think it might be obvious, but Tim, who do you think's gonna win here? I still have to go, you know, with with Morgan Wolf with it. So I think he can find a way to defeat Chamber Leaf for me. I, I did say about him, like Jamie Lee for you know, firing out the gate, but he's done that a few times. It has actually ended up costing because he runs out of stamina too quick. You could again cost him. As oh, pop, pop, power bomb. Yeah, and well, like we say, Jamie Lee through, he hasn't been able to pick up any wins here, but he's, you gotta say, he's gone against some of the best of the best here. He's gone against, of course, Shinsuke Nakamura, our current hardcore champion. He's gone against Goldberg in a very close match in his first ever match, and he almost beat him there, but. Like we always, since the story with Jamie Wheatle, he just has been able to get it done. Uh, he has an, a nasty issue here when it comes to Jamie Wheatle because if, if he can't get away by the end of the season, he might not even get, you know, his contract re-signed or anything because no one's going to, you know, think he can get it done and no one won't want to keep him around. Yeah, so he really needs to start. He needs to start getting wins. He needs to start getting wins today. He has the help of the local hero, DM West, with him here. He should be able to help get, get a win today, but it's against Morgan Wolf. 
That is true. Well, as we have seen, you know, since Morgul came into GWF, I believe that's why he was, you know, the number two draft pick for Raw. Was, well, this is why he showed exactly what he's capable of doing. It's, oh, what a... Well, a bit of whiplash there. Yeah, a bit of whiplash, but look at this. The local hero helping up, helping him really get some breathing in here to help get back into it. But, oh, Morgan Wolf, too smart for him here, though. Yeah, it's like Morgan Wolf just had that six sense. It's like, uh-oh. Oh, it's those boxes still, still in the end. And, oh! Morgan Wolf distracted again by DM West. Again, allowing Jamie Lethal to recover. It didn't help Lethal much last time. Is it going to help him again here? It's now just knocking him down again. It just does not help out Jamie well, non-lethal here. As Morgan Wolf has been dominating this matchup. As no! Whoa. Look just, at this. Yeah, just choking him out. As again, DM West. If he keeps this up, he's going to get thrown out. Yeah, but I, really, I don't think he cares. As long as Jamie Lethal somehow finds a win here. I don't think the local hero will care. No, he oh, won't because... Oh. Uh-oh. Oh, oh! Big power bomb there. Yeah, if, if Jamie Lethal could find the win here, imagine how humiliating that will be for Morgan Wolf and how it will help Dear West. Oh, look at this Dear West getting a chair in. Yeah, yeah getting a chair in there. Well, I think Dear West has some more bigger points. He wants to have Jamie Lethal injure Morgan Wolf here. Yeah, that's a great strategy headed into, you know, a title fight in just a, cool, a short couple of weeks because if you injure the opponent, well, that's really going to hinder them when it comes to the defense of their championship. Yeah, but does the local hero have the right man here, Jamie Lethal, of all people, to try and injure the Morgan Wolf? And again, oh. look at that. Yeah, so that have a sort of like whiplash errors again, damn West distracting Morgan Wolf here. Yeah, distracting well and Jamie Weathrow get up. Is Jamie going to capitalize on it? Yes, he is this time. Oh! oh. Big gut buster there by Lethal. Yeah. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Weathrow combination! Oh. Yeah, it's the Lethal combination and dragging Morgan Wolf away. Go for the cover here. This could be it. Two. No, Morgan's going to stay alive, of course. Yeah, just barely a two there, really. It really Wolf still. The local hero, like I said, doing everything he can to help and trying to get Jamie Weevil to win here. Oh, no, lethal oh. injection! It's the lethal injection. And that could be it. It's Morgan Wolf out. He has to be out of it. One, two. No, Morgan. Again, staying alive and... Well... Jamie Weathrow is throwing everything he possibly can at Morgan Wolf, and Morgan still kicking out. Yeah, he's still kicking out, but look at this. He's getting cocky. He's getting arrogant, but no, Dan West. It seemed like that worked, though. Yeah, I, I think Dan West noticed oh. he was getting cocky, so he wanted to go up there and distract Morgan before he got hit. Yeah, I think well, it could have been playing some mind games. Lethal, you know, started taunting, tried to trick Morgan Wolf, and then Dan West distracted him. And now, Jamie, what is he looking to do here? Throwing him into the corner. Oh, now hitting the back there. But now, Morgan. Oh, uh, wait. I thought we were going to see what would be more that box in there, but. Oh! oh a little missided what? there. But now, Jamie trying to really make a cover here. But only a one count here. Yeah, I think maybe just try to rub it into the face of Morgan Warfall's Jamie Lethal there. Yeah, a bit of a big mistake there by Wolf there, because look at this, he is now caught as uh oh Lethal's got up top. Yeah. He's got something planned. Yeah, what does he have in store here? Oh! Oh, super oh. kick! Super kick! But again, Dan West up to distract Morgan Wolf in this big match trying to get rid of Dan West. Yeah, but Jamie Weefu still hasn't gotten up, finally trying to get up there. As all we thought about a wolf spot there, but got well, Jamie Lethal caught him. Yeah, Jamie Lethal finally doing a smart thing, catching him here, and now trying to get a rest hold here. I mean, Morgan just, well, he almost just put it away there. Yeah, almost dead, but, well, he would have if it wasn't for Tim West there. Smoke Wolf fighting out of it, and now was that may take down of his own. 
Yeah, and oh, Ian West getting involved yet again. God, this, this is actually getting ridiculous now. Big match, John, do something. Kick him out of this match. Yep. Big match, John doesn't really seem to care. He really doesn't care about what happens to Morgan Wolf here. It's another big power bomb here. Yeah, enough big one. Maybe feel some sort of sympathy towards Jamie Lethal here. And what is he doing here? Is, is he thinking about cheating? Oh, yes, he's cheating! What? Oh, no! He foot on the ropes! Oh, 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 oh. oh but oh. still able to kick out. Yeah, see, Morgan Wolf is just too good. Oh, my God. Jamie Lethal literally trying to do everything he can to try and pick up a win. He hit the weave combination, the weave injection. He tried putting the feet on the ropes. Nothing is putting away Morgan Wolf here. What is Morgan Whoa, Wolf planning? What, what is this? What in the world? Oh, my God. <laughs> I, Muscle Buster. I think Jamie's done. God, that could end a career, that move. Yeah, and well, you know, Jamie's still down, but now again, DM West is up, helping Jamie Lethal in any way he can. And that was just Morgan trying to be a little too cocky there, and it looks like he may be paying. Oh, oh. face buster! Yeah, massive face buster there by Jamie Lethal, and he has got Morgan Wolf on the ropes here. Oh, with the combination, and that cut Morgan Wolf up. That has yeah, busted him wide open. Is this it? It's over. Two. Wait, wait, wait. It looked like a three, but the ref is saying no. Not. Well, the sympathy, I think, is gone. He didn't want him to get the win there. Yeah, the sympathy is gone, but Morgan Wolf is in trouble here. This is the blood is well draining down his face. Oh, no. Maybe we're looking for a second lethal injection here. Has it set up? Lethal injection! It's it. This Go for the can be hit one, two, and Jamie, Jamie. Lee was finally picked up with. But I'm sorry, it's not legitimate. He yeah, has well, not. Well, Jamie's that. saying, I, I can't believe it. my first ever win she do and it's over in Morgan Wolf to my wife back at home, Becky, and my 22 kids back at home. That was for you. Woohoo! Thank you, Dean West. You are my local hero. You shouldn't be celebrating. It's not a legitimate victory. You haven't earned that. Yeah, but well, with that being said, Joe Disney backstage saying hello, Mr. Heyman. As you know, I have a problem with one of your clients, and I called you and said I think you'd be more civil than Dr. Tom. But of course, now they are one on one with Tom picking a win over Braun, uh, over win over Roman Reigns, and Braun Strowman won over Tom. But Paul saying, yeah, yeah, funny, get on with it. I'm a very busy man, which includes getting my client Brock Lesnar ready to main event to WrestleMania. And of course, helping Dr. Tom get to the top here in GWF. And well, Joe saying, well, Paul, this is a special proposition for you tonight. In our main event, if Dr. Tom can beat my new client, he will be able to face Nakamura at WrestleMania for the hardcore title. But if he doesn't win, then his new client will be going after Nakamura. And well, well, Mr. Disney, this won't be the first time that it beat a newly signed client of yours. You were on Disney, and all I gotta say is Shinsuke better watch out for Dr. Tom. He has a lethal prescription for WrestleMania. Well, oh, very interesting in backstage. There, what is gonna happen? Who is this new client? And who is this new client? But we're gonna have to wait to find out as Connor Rhodes will be going against Draco Child coming up next here. Well, what a. Great match up here for Raw. This, it'll be Mr. Money in a Bank taking on here, Dragon Child. Yeah, well, Mr. Money in the Bank, Connor Rhodes. But where's Zeb Coulter? Yeah, wh where is Zeb? It, very interesting. He's not out here. You'd normally see, you know, Connor Rhodes flagged by Zeb Coulter, but nowhere to be seen. Well, I'm, I'm being told that Zeb is actually at the hospital trying to really pays condolences to Maz and well he's not gonna be here tonight to help Connor Rhodes oh very very interesting I mean I've, I've got to respect you know Zeb Koa there for you know caring about well the NXT GM and Raw Commentator and Maz Freeway but well I'm sure I know Connor Rhodes can get done on his own that's yeah. why he's Mr. Money in the Bank that's why he's Mr. Money in the Bank and well he's going against the man 
who's only had one win in his career so far, and as well, Jamie Lethal. Yeah, that one win over Jamie Lethal, and well, we'll see. Can he pick up a huge victory against Connor Rhodes? Yeah, can he pick up a big victory here? It's coming out next. Draco Child. And there he is, there is Draco Child, who, well, yes, since debuting in GWF has, you know, had the troubles. He's only had, you know, one win in, well, in singles competition. Yes, former tag team champion. Since then, it's been nothing but it seems to be downhill. Yeah, but many people would say Morgan Wolf really led that team to victory every single time. And, of course, the only man to pick up the, the loss in each time was Draco Child. So yeah, I think yeah, pretty much was Morgoth putting on all the work, which is why Morgoth just, you know, dropped him, dropped Dra Draco Child in because he saw him as dead white. Yeah, and of course, well, one of our most dominant United States champions, sure, he just lost to Jamie Lethal, but clearly it was purely thanks to the local hero, DM West. That's what you have to find. It's not, as I said, Jamie Lethal, you have a guy legitimate win. You have a earned your victory you got lucky you got a local hero to help you yeah but when we're gonna get this match on the way Zeb seems to have confidence that Connor will be able to get it done here tonight against Draco do you agree with that here uh Tim well we have to you know why fight I see what happens within this matchup I'm sure it can get done but look at this though Conrad's already working on the leg here very smart tactic yeah, very smart tactic here. Connor Rhodes trying to do everything he can, but oh wait, picking him up and oh, and taking him down. Yeah, that Michinoku driver there. Well, Connor Rhodes is just trying to take us some of the well, the leg strength off Draco Charge. You do that, and you can take hammers on the Michinoku driver. Or, you know his GTS. Yeah, and well, many fans are wondering when is Connor Rhodes going to cash in his money in the bank? Of course, if he doesn't cash it in. By WrestleMania, he will have to defend that in the pre-show. But when is he going to cash it in? Is he going to cash it in at Mania? Is he going to cash it in next season? I mean, time's really ticking for him. He's got to try to find a way to cash that in. Yeah, the time, yeah, really is ticking for Connor Rhodes. When will he cash it in? And who will he cash it in on? You say, it's any championship. He could get a tag team partner, go for the tag titles. United States, the hardcore, the world title. It's all up for grabs. Yeah, everything is up for grabs for Connor Rhodes. He can go for anything he wants. And well, for being an all-American American, you would think the United States Championship might be one of his biggest thoughts. Yeah, it definitely could be. You know, one of his you know biggest thoughts is the United States Championship because he'd you know want to represent the United States and take it well away from what possibly the, Morgan the, Wolf or. DM West. Yeah, of course, both British people going for the belt there. I mean, no Americans going for the United States belt. I'm, I mean, you may think that Connor, he may want to get involved in that. Yeah, he very well may want to because the thing is, you know, it's not like he has to, you know, go with the old just cash in, you know, just there and then. He can tell the person or who knows, yeah, he can make the match a triple threat at WrestleMania. Yeah, he, he can. But of course, if he does do that and he wants to make a triple threat at WrestleMania, he will still have to defend it because it would technically not be cashed in yet. No, I wouldn't say so he'd have to do double duty unless, well, unless he was to, you know, tell people that's when he wanted to cash it in. Because would that then mean he wouldn't have to defend it? No, he, like I said, he would still have to defend it. Even if he said he will be cashing in there, but he still has to defend it first because he didn't cash it in by the pay per view. Ah, see, that's the rule. Oh, look at this, Draco Child. Oh. oh! I thought he was thinking maybe a GTS early on there, but now he went for the Gut Buster instead. Yeah, and well, oh, wait, wait, but now he might be going for it. Fans are getting up. They know what's happening here. GTS! Oh, hits it. And go for the cover here. Is this it? One, two. Oh, only a two count. Yeah, but another thing that Connor can do if he wants. Maybe even next week. If maybe you can call someone out for next week if you wanted to go for it. 
Yeah, he's certainly could. As I said, you know, the sky's the limit with Connor Rhodes at this moment. It's just so many opportunities he has to, you know, cash in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course. He has until our next Money in the Bank match. Of course, next year, he has that full year to try and cash it in. So, really, he can hold it for pretty much most of Season 2 next year if he truly wanted to. Yeah, he certainly could, but don't know if he'd want to wait that long. It's all about, but maybe he would, you know. It's all about picking your moment, picking your spot. Yeah, of course. Maybe it may not happen in this company, but some people may just may want to rush it and then they might cash in too soon and then well they didn't get the win yeah very well could happen it's all about you know cashing in on the right person as well because you talk about the world championship at the moment it could be a bad move to cash in on 10 six of the darkness is uh oh oh Joker no chart up top oh oh and the oh. big elbow going for the cover this could be it here one two three oh. Oh, wow. And, well, this is just a night of shocks here. Draco Child picking up the big win over Connor Rhodes. Yeah, huge win there for Draco Child as he just defeated, well, Mr. Money in the Bank. Yeah, and, well, I know one man that Connor Rhodes would definitely not be picking to go against that WrestleMania if he doesn't cash in by then. Yeah, unless he wants revenge. Yeah, well, coming up next, we got the Regular Raiders. Well, we're going to be in some new attires here, but then we're going to go against uh, Dota B, of course, the Worldwide Entertainers here in a Tornado Tag Team Extreme Rules match here. And, well, here they come, and, well, it looks like I'm being told they want to be called the Long Island Boys now. That we're reverting back to their roots, the old NSW roots. Yeah, it's just, yeah, they want to go back to those old roots. And, well, it's a very different gear. And back before in SW, I mean, the Long Island boys, I'd seen them, what they've done. And Tag Team Extreme Rules very much suits them. Yeah, very much suits them indeed. And, well, Johnson Styles and Big Justin Z, this could be their night. Is they going to be going against the former number one contenders of course the guys who couldn't beat the elite at the world rumble but we'll be looking to try to make their rise and maybe go for it again after you know of course going against the elite maybe they might have another way of beating them at wrestlemania but here they come here comes the worldwide entertainers yep there they are the wwe the worldwide entertainers here yeah, came up short at royal rumble go for the tag team titles if they can pick up, you know, a massive win against the regulators in a tornado tag, extreme rules could catapult them back into getting, you know, another opportunity. Yeah, another opportunity. And well, one of the reasons this match is happening over on Twitter, the regulators, or well, I should say now the Long Island boys, they were over on Twitter saying that they are the most extreme team here and that nobody can beat them in their extreme. And well, the Worldwide Entertainer says, we think we can beat you guys in your own elements. This is some very strong words there by the Worldwide Entertainers and the yeah, Strawberries and the Long Highland Boys. We just see which of these teams, you know, fares better in Extreme Rules and, you know, the elements of Hardcore. Yeah, let's see who is going to pick up the big win here. Well, we're going to get this match on the way. Tim, who do you think is going to pick up the win? I think I'm going to go with the Long Island boys this one. This is their environment. This is really their playground. Their turf is the, well, hardcore style of Extreme Rules. And I think it's very much going to suit them. Yeah, well, let's see if that's going to be the case here as well. All four men are going to be in the ring at once here. Of course, Extreme Rules, Tornado Tag. There are no tags here as well. Oh. Johnson maybe we can get the toys in a little early, but now they're going to get a d double team here on Big Justin Z. Yes, that could be in a little bit of a step. Oh, he's got a oh. chair. It's, oh, into the ribs and then into the throat, it looked like. Yeah, and just a really obliterating Nathan Rave there with that chair as Evan Crawford working to try and take out Big Justin Z. 
Yeah, trying to take him out, but we swell. Those chair shots were just absolutely vicious. As what has he got planned here? It's an inverted atomic, atomic drop there. Yeah, no, oh wait, continuing to work over in the wagon. Well, right now, the Worldwide Entertainers on top so far. Well, as I say, that Big Justin Z fighting back here, and so is Johnson. Yeah, and uh, I was he got oh this? onto oh. the chair. Yeah, just about hit the chair, but that is gonna do the damage. That's a moment drop. Two, no, only a it's two oh count. Oh my god! And yeah. then Big Justin Z using the chair on the back of the head. And really just showing off, well, their extreme style. The Long Island boys are just absolutely dominant here so far. Yeah, they are dominating in terms of extreme and hardcore. And oh, look at that, just going crazy Ooh. with that chair. Yeah, the chair and the big elbow. This could be it for Nathan Rave. One, two. No, only a two count. No, Big Justin Z looking to continue on Evan here. Has him up and oh. That's Oh, big spine buster. I don't think he got the impact on the chair, but still it's going to be painful. Yeah, one, it's cover. two, three, and whoa, <laughs> a fast win for the Long Island boys. And well, well, like they said, they are the extreme team here. They really proved that here with a very quick win over WWE. Yeah, I think the Long Island boys here just, well, they proved their point. They proved exactly what they meant when they said the extremist air element and they can't be beat yeah they can't be beaten well with a big win like that we may see them go into wrestlemania and with that being said we're going up here as no way Jaden will be coming out with his girlfriend rosa mendez and will be going against alan bourne and he will have his brother lewis out there to help him And well, Kansas City has been treating us very well here as coming out first. No way, Jaden. And uh, the moment Raw picked up this guy from SmackDown, I was so happy. And now I've got to commentate, you know, Raw here. And I've got to put up with this guy again. Yeah, but back when he was on SmackDown, he was crazy, Jaden. Now he's no way, Jaden. Really, it's just a complete change of character. I mean, come on, he's much better now. Oh, he still sucks. Well, no way, Jaden. Still looking happy as always. Sorry, he hasn't really been able to pick up the wins as he would like. Of course, wasn't able to get the win over the local hero DM West last week, but this week we'll be looking to get a win over the rising star of Al Lynn Bourne. Just because you can change gimmick doesn't mean, you know, you can change your losing ways. Still can't believe this guy managed to get another, you know, world title shot. Well, he did make his way in there. Of course, made that triple that Royal Rumble as well. Coming out next, here is Al Lynn born and well, I think he's grabbing a mic. Oh, no. You know, no, I respect this guy, so I, I bet you could be quiet. <laughs> well, of course, these guys like to call themselves the born winners, but here comes... Hey, he's got a microphone. Yeah, well, saying, no way, Jane, you're just a dancing fool. Who's just going on a downfall here in GWF? Well, me and my brother are just born winners, and I will prove it tonight when I beat you, even with your girlfriend here on the outside. And when a born family member says he's going to win, it happens. And no way, Jaden, that's not an insult. That is just a fact of life. Yeah, but hit the very strong words there by Alan Aborn. Along with Lewis Bourne, you know, two absolute rising stars here in GWF. Well... I don't know why Rosa Mendes is with No Way Jed and the two guys are there, she could do much better. Or, or you know, I'm, I'm right over here, Rosa. I'm right here. <laughs> well, Rosa Mendes still sticking so strong here with No Way Jaden here. But Alan Bourne will be looking and trying to get a win over, of course, a former two time GWF champion. Of no way, Jaden. Well, look at him 
Just looking so smug already. And well, Tim, I think I know who you're going to say, but who do you think is going to pick up the big win here? I have to go with Alan Board for this one, I think. You know, he is a rising star. I think he could defeat, you know, Noah Jaden as he's now known. It's just proof he's the better man. It's, oh, what a leg drop there. Yeah, what a great leg drop there. And well, let's see how No Way Jane will fare against, of course, like I said, the rising star here of Alan Bourne. Alan's really been trying to prove himself here. And well, a win over a two-time GW champion, even though you like to say he's a loser, you can't take away what he's done. He is, of course, a former two-time GW champion here. Yes, he is, but it's not like he ever held the title for that long. They, they were ju just some lucky wins he got to somehow get a world title. And then, and then Rob Roy, my friend, somehow managed to give him another world title shot. Pat and Lord, he didn't win that as well. Yeah, of course. Well, somehow he, got blinded. Yeah, he got blinded. I mean, still, many people are wondering if Danny Six, of course, had play in what happened to No Way Jaden at the Royal Rumble, but I guess, well, we may never know. Yeah, probably why, because uh, I'm not going back near the dark just to ask them that. Yeah, I, I don't I don't think Corey wants to go back there either. No, I, I actually, you know, value my life. <laughs> yeah, but well, Alan Bourne looking to continue here on No Way. Jaden picking up and, oh, and <laughs> taking him down. Yeah, big sit-out pub on there by Alan Bourne. He's really taking it to No Way. Jaden now. Showing his strength there. Yeah, no way. Picking him up. Was it? Oh, no. The hit to the ribs there. Now, what is no way Jaden looking to do here? No oh, and taking out the leg. Yeah, just taking out the leg there. No way Jaden showing yet. Yeah, he, he can't, you know, get the moves in at a matchup. But he just seems to, you know, like to choke a lot in matches. Just look at that sidewalk slam. And the big sidewalk slam by Alan Bourne. And Alan looking to continue on him here. Just a hitting the back. and oh, oh! And just a big enziguri. Yeah, big impressive enziguri to the back of the head there. It's into the cover here. This could be it. No, only a two count. It's just the two count there. Alan Bourne still got plenty of fight left in him. And Lewis Bourne still just looking on. Isn't too happy. Yeah. So what has he got planned here? Oh no. What does he have in store here? As no, no. Oh, oh and takes him down. And this could be spelling near the end of Alan Bourne as no way Jaden. We're gonna continue on him here thinking he's Bulgarian. Yeah, first hit in Edward's Super Falcon Arrow and then going into well thinking he's Bulgarian. Yeah, but it looks like he was about to go into a big kick there, but Alan Bourne able to stop it. And oh, and a big slam there yet again. Now going for the cover. One, two, no. No way Jane able to kick out. Yeah, but no, it's up Alan Bourne being very smart there, you know, not letting himself get frustrated. Try to continue straight on as, oh, managed to dodge that, but oh, again, dodging. Yeah, and really, Alan really just showing off his quick speed there, dodging the moves here. No way, Jane now go for the cover. One, two, no, only a two count. Yeah, just a two there. Now it seems like he's letting frustration get better for him. That's what you can't do. You can't get frustrated. You, if you don't get that pitfall, you just continue on. You don't get angry. Yeah, you don't get angry here as, oh, no. Uh, there is a Lewis board to distract the way Jane is. Oh, look at this. No! Ooh. Try for the pump handle there. Didn't get it. Yeah, I tried to get it there, but now wait. We're going to take him outside, and oh boy. But on the wrong side for uh, No Way Jaden, as he's on the same side here as Lewis, and of course, when the born winners are together. This could really spell the end, as now Alan, oh, oh, now just working the wrench on the back right as soon as it hit against the concrete here on the outside. Yeah, it's a very thin pattern out there. Really does a lot of damage as voice got banner. And, oh, it's the ring post, it looked like. Yeah, it's right into the ring post, and well, trying to really make him get a little blurry there. 
Yeah, but oh look at this though, now I tried to catch him and oh. into the neck breaker. Yeah, into the big neck breaker there. What does No Way Jaden have in store for him next here? And oh, just attacking the back of Alan Bourne. It's bringing down a knee on the back there and what is he feeling now taking him to the outside again but the wrong sort of you know area for the outside because look Lewis boards are right there yeah Lewis Borden came right in his face but right now it doesn't look like he cares as what does he have in store is oh and taking him in there but wait, wait, wait what does he have in store oh, what no. is he going for here oh, oh no the... no no oh. and well he's about to say it here no Way, Jaden. Oh, oh Jesus. Jesus! Oh, I hope Alan Bourne's okay, cause that was nasty. That was absolutely nasty, there. And well, Alan Bourne could be out of it, but oh no, wait, Alan. Oh, wait, he, he's he, not he, thinking he, the exact same thing as he. Anything you can do, I can do better. Here is all oh, great. Hey, is that fan trying to pick no way Jaden's pockets? Oh, Lynn Bourne! Oh! oh. Nice over Lewis Bourne! And well, the fans saying that this is awesome here, and well... Now the Bourne winners are really just surrounded over here on no way Jaden as well. I, don't, I, don't, I think he's just in absolute shock that he just did what he just did to him. Yeah. It was almost like he yeah, has said, anything you can do, I can do much better. It's us, the nerve! The nerve of Alan here on the outside. Ugh. See, no way, Jaden, this is what happens when you trigger people. Like you trigger me every time you come out the ring and I have to commentate one of your matches. Yeah, no. Alan, well, he thinks this is going to be over very soon. He's heading in the back there. But no way, no, no way, Jaden finding back here. Alan taking too much time going into a rest hold here. And no way, Jaden has to be thinking, what do I have to do to put away Alan Bourne? He hit one of his big moves there, but then Alan just did it right back to him. Yeah, it's like it had no effect on Alan Bourne, and he just hit one of his own. And no, and now Alan Bourne take it down. No way, Jaden. Yeah, what does he have in store next? And Oh, and it's wrenching back the arms, but no way yeah. Jaden quick to get out of it. Yeah, just have the stretchy man locked in there, but no way Jaden fought out of it. Yeah, oh wait, has him up and oh, and takes him down. Yeah, but now what does he have in store as he's going to go for it? Wait, and a big Russian leg sweep into the dance. But now going for the cover, this could be it. One, two, three. Looked like a three, but Big Matt Sean saying no. And now, what does Lewis Bourne was trying to really get into the face of No Way Jane there, and that's going to help Alan Bourne pick up the win here. Oh. Was he applying me? I wish I knew what was happening. It seems like I was having some oh. connection issues. It's, oh, what a move there. Yeah, it's a blunt force trauma there by Alan oh. Bourne. And this can be it here. One, two, three. And well, thanks to Lewis, a big win for Alan Bourne. Yep, an absolutely huge win there, being well with a man who, yeah, a former, you know, two time GWF champion. Alan Bourne proving he, he's the better man, though. Yeah, Alan Bourne with the big win there. And well, like I said, the rising star just beat a two-time GWF champion. Well, let's we'll see what his future holds. And of course, maybe just with season two, though, because it may be a little too close to WrestleMania to get anything going. But coming up next, it is the Tyson Mason challenge. Tyson Mason says he can knock out anyone here. And we'll see if he can prove that again here tonight. Yeah, he's been having this big wealth of submission challenge and he's been making, well, some of the best or NGWF tap out to his, you know, variety of submission moves. Who's going to answer this week, though? Yeah, who is going to answer?
Tyson Mason's challenge. I mean, personally, I would be scared to try and take up on this challenge. The things that he has done, of course, in his MMA career and been shifting that here into GWF, he's done some scary things. Yeah, well, I was I was actually watching you know all, some footage of you know Tyson Mason's MMA days, and in one of his matches, he actually you know broke the arm of his opponent. It's just scary. Well, like it says, either tap or snap, and well, that man snapped. <laughs> yeah, that that the opponent refused to tap out, and then he just, well Tyson Mason lost it and just broke the guy's arm. Well, let's we'll see who is going to take on this big challenge here. Who could possibly be the man to beat the challenge? Dan Whittlewood? Okay. I mean, th this guy's been, you know... Well, well, last time I commentated, you know, for the raw part of GWF, I think he was... Yeah, it's superstars. And, you know, I, I did mention that Dan would have been, you know, impressed me, but taking on this twice a submission challenge, I don't think so. Well, like it says on the shirt, we was going to prove that he will not die, he will not stop. And, well, in a challenge like this, to have persistence to never stop, I mean, to never really tap out, this may help. Dan Woodward, or he might just snap here. Right that guy's arm. Mm. He says he will not die. I mean, I think he may have to, you know, tap out if he wants to make sure that doesn't happen. Otherwise, Tyson Mason will just kill him. And then the re big red John left to, uh, you know, call for the end. Yeah, well. Woodward will be looking to do everything he can to try and beat the Tyson Mason challenge here, but I don't know. Can Dan Woodward pick up the win here tonight? I, I think it's just, you know, too much for him. As far as I knew, Dan Woodward doesn't know a thing about, you know, submission wrestling. He's sort of more the risk taking, you know, bit of high flying here and there. Not, you know, not submissions. Yeah. He's not, you know, a ground-based guy. Yeah, of course, an ECW alumni here, Dan Woodward. But, well, let's see if he can pick up one. He has had, well, miracle wins before, but he, this is this would have to be one of them. Th that, there's miracle wins, and then there's just insanity-forced dream wins. Yeah, well, some fans already showing their, just re-expressing that they don't have any faith in Dan Woodward here. It's now Tyson Mason throwing him into the ropes. Oh, and taking him down. They're just taking him down with those, well, that strike again. And this is what Tyson Mason does best. You know, the pure striking. You know, look, look at this, though. Dan Woodward, you know, trying to mix it up, showing that he can get to the striking as well. Don't know how wise it will be, though. Yeah, you might just be angry at Tyson Mason here, but someone saying here in the chat saying they think Woodward's only gonna last about 50 seconds here, but um, Woodward right now seems to be in control. Yeah, definitely, you know, is in control of this one at the moment. Got to hand it to Dallowood, you know. He does a bat down. I was thinking it's more Garen, but a submission would not count on the outside, but well, it's not like Tyson Mason would be able to grab any ropes. Yeah, and, oh, and just a big boot there. And now Tyson Mason just continuing on Dan Woodward here. It's then a lovely Nova Light Super set on the outside, just trying to, you know, make that damage even worse than it already is. Oh, just working over the leg there. Again, this is Tyson Mason just dissects opponents and then makes them tap out. Yeah, I mean, Tyson, this is really, like you said, his expertise here. He wants to make people, you know, really torture here. And all. Oh, and taking him down. And now bringing down the big fist, but you gotta give it to Dan Woodward. He's fighting back here. He's trying to do everything he can 
to pick up a win here. And whoa, he's working over on the arm here. He may be looking for an arm breaker down the line. He might be yeah, doing some smart possibly. thinking. Yeah, but that's the thing you need to do in submission matches. You, you need to pick one limb of your opponent, whether it be an arm, a leg, sort of the head and neck region. You need to pick that and pick it apart and then go for your submission. Yeah, but now Tyson, what does he have in store for Dan Woodward here on the outside? And well, probably not going to be good things at all. And, oh my goodness, taking him down. Yeah, ch ch showing off, you know, that, that wrestling experience that he knows so well with that just that impressive takedown. And oh boy, bringing in uh, some steel steps here. Uh, but, this isn't no disqualification, though, is it? Well, the only way this match is going to end is by submission. So I thought it could end by like a disqualification at least, but maybe not as so. Oh, look at that, a beautiful Ooh. reversal. A beautiful reversal there as Tyson Mason looking, what is he looking to do here? And oh, now it's just a That's big punch. Let's do what he does best as another Nova Light suplex. Just wear it down, Tan Littlewood. And oh, belly to belly there. Yeah, now, what does he have in store for me? Oh, no, wait, no, Dan Littlewood with the big reversal. Yeah, Dan Littlewood fighting back there. And so Dan Littlewood, he will fight back to try to stay this match. As, oh, Vicky, he's Bulgarian here. Tyson Basie, I think he did just about get his foot to the rope, though. Yeah, just barely, but... Oh, wait. Oh, and taking him down. Yeah, with another belly to belly. And what has he got planet? Uh-oh. Oh, now oh. attacking that leg. And oh, my goodness, the pain. This has to be in there. But Dan Woodward powering out. Yeah, powering out of that ankle lock attempt there. And well, Tyson Basio, he's got to have done some damage to the ankle. We'll probably end up seeing it during this matchup. You might see a bit of a limp on Dan Littlewood. Yeah, maybe seeing a so, bit of a limp there. Oh, my now God. Looking at this. Oh, oh my geez. goodness. Tyson Mason pulling all the stops here. Yeah, he is. But look at that, Dan Littlewood again fighting back. You gotta give it everything that Tyson Mason is doing here. He's just taking it back here. It's a big side effect. Oh, the side effect there, but don't know if that's gonna help a whole lot because it's a submission match. No pinfalls. Oh, wait, you say it's this. But Dan Woodward continuing on here. Oh my god, he's still thinking. I, I think I know what he's thinking here. Uh, a twist of wood! Oh, the avalanche twist of wood there. Yeah, and now working over on the back that the side effect did so bad to him here in the, the well, the avalanche twist of wood, and continuing on it here, he is not stopping. Yeah, with that stretchy what, what, man. That, a, what, what? Tyson Mason oh, why? just said he quit. He tapped. Oh my God. Well, Dan was saying I just beat the Tyson Mason challenge, proving that Woodward will not die. And well, it's now. V one time, it's version one time here in GWF. Well, I gotta say, I'm impressed. That has to be the biggest win of his career. Yeah, it definitely has to be here as we're making our way to the main event. Coming out first, it's Dr. Tom. Yep, here he comes, here he comes. Well, Dr. Tom, the man who, well, Came with the well, the symptoms of that horrible disease known as ring postitis. Yeah, of course, trying to find a cure, and well, he may find a new test subject here, and of course, this new client of Disney. But just who is this man? Who would side with Disney here? Of course, the GM. But I don't know who who is going to be this man here. I don't know, but. Well, I, I am very happy to always see the great Paul Heyman and picking up a man like Dr. Tom. Well, so, some of it might say it's a bit of a ballsy move. Yeah, what a bit of a ballsy move. And of course, Dr. Tom, when you put it in, well, anyway, 
Well, it's just the regular Disney music here, but... Wait, wait, wait. Is that... Is that T.G. Carter? What the... This man's supposed to be... He was suspended by Joe Disney until season two, but... He's here... With the... Team Disney? Oh, no. What in the world is... And bringing oh, back... Oh, this is shocking. It absolutely shocking here. T.G. Carter turning on the fans here, going with the bunny here. Well, I guess that uh, T.G. Carter no longer drinks milk out of a bag anymore. Turning on the Canadians, turning on the fans. T.G. <sighs> Carter is with the bunny. As a Canadian, this makes me sick. <sighs> Yeah, instead of drinking milk out of the bag, now he eats carrots with the bunny. Well, what's up, Doc? Let's get this started. Oh, and just a big oh. drop kick there. Yeah, return. Yeah, I thought he might have missed a little bit now, there, but now got the full impact as well. These two are no strangers to each other, and yeah, of course. How would this affect the matchup? Yeah, former tag team partners. I'm, I'm sure Dr. Tom finally could have been anyone. But T.G. Carter, T.G. Carter out here is former tag team partner. A man that, well, that he first betrayed for the bunny. Now now he's betraying him for the bunny. Yo, what, what is this? Some sort of weird love triangle of something. I, I, I do not know. But is it like... It, it, <laughs> go on. It's like one of those old college, you know, scenarios where it's two guys fighting over the affections of one girl. He well, said in this scenario, bunny. these two guys seems to be fighting over a bunny. Oh, great. But, well, Tim, I didn't ask you yet. Who do you think is going to be picking up this win after now finding out? C.G. Carter. Oh, I still have to go with Dr. Tommy. Yeah, at one point, you know, he, he betrayed, you know, Canada. But I think part of him still, you know, has ca Canadian blood in him. But T.G. Carter, he's, he's got rid of all his Canadian blood. Yeah. They somehow managed to drain it out of him. Yeah, going with the bunny here. I mean, I don't know how many people would have expected that T.G. Carter would be coming back in Season 2, but coming back with the bunny of all things here. Well, like I said, turning on the fans, going with the GM here. And well, really, he just sold out. Uh, he, you know, I, I do respect Joe Dizzy, I think. He's a great GM, but I'm not sure about this move. Bring him out T.G. Carter. Get him, get him to betray Canada. Well, especially betraying Dr. Tom here, but, well, Dr. Tom, he's going to have to really fight off his emotions here as he's got to go against, like oh. I said, his former tag team partner. But, oh, now an arm breaker here on the outside. Yeah, got that arm ball submission locked. I mean, it won't get him a win if... Dr. Tom, you know, tapped out there, but, well, it's just a more pride there. Let's look at that, though. T.G. Carter seems to have, well, his suspension off. Yeah, of course. He seems to have helped him. Yeah, really getting that time off, really rethink himself, and really part of that rethinking himself here was to it's go on. with the bunny as Dr. Tom missing the move there. And now Paul Heyman looks like he might be wanting to get a few words to Dr. Tom here. Yeah, and getting a worse there, but look, T.G. Carter's right there. Yeah, listening right in, and what Paul Heyman has to say is now he's going to bring the fight to T.G. Carter here. It's a swing and neck breaker there. Well, whatever Paul Heyman said to Dr. Tom is working. Yeah, it seems to be working so far as the ref up to a five count, Dr. Tom, T.G. Carter making their way back inside. Now just a big punch is here. What is Paul doing? Grab it stairs there. I don't know what he was thinking there. Maybe he wants to try to set up something for later in the matchup. Yeah, and maybe that's what he was talking to him about. Maybe he was saying about a plan that he has. You may, you may think, a super to the outside onto the steel steps. It's perfect oh spotting. Oh. Yeah, it is. It's, look at that, though. Lovely reverse DDT there. 
Yeah, and oh, the bunny oh. getting involved here. And wait, what is this? Oh, oh. and a big Hurricane Rana there. Yeah, lovely hard right over there, but look at this TG car get a well a little bit crazy there, look like it's bouncing Ooh. off the ropes. And again hitting that low oh, drop kick, but that time too, the side of the head of Dr. Tom there. Yeah, lovely Ooh. low drop kick there is oh my goodness. goodness. And but oh well messing with the turnbuckle there and movie Paul Heyman is trying to do everything he can to help Dr. Tom. He's of course the winner of this match will be going against Shinsuke Nakamura at WrestleMania. Yeah, it certainly will be as what is he thinking there? Maybe Razor's Edge, Crucifix Power Bomb? Oh. No! Reversed! Yeah, but now what does CJ Carter have in store here? Oh, he may be thinking about the spin oh here. God. Oh! Oh my god, spinning that milk in the oh. bag. Well. Well, uh, I'm gonna I can't stop look. looking. Tell me, Tell me when it's over. Uh, no, you told me. Uh, I don't know when it's gonna be up. Uh, Is it over yet? Yeah, it's over. Oh, 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 oh it's go for the cover. Cover. Oh, oh, Paul, taking hey, up hey, the ref. Paul just needed. Uh, Paul just. Oh, Mr. Heyman just needed to inform Big Match John of something very important. Yeah, very. It, important. it was urgent. It was urgent. Yeah, I'm sure it was. It's Dr. Tom. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Setting up a chair, maybe we're thinking about a super quick song to the chair. Oh, maybe my God. perfect timing here. Oh, no, oh. missing the chair, but a big super plex indeed. Yeah, just overshot that little bit. But will that chair come into play in this matchup? Yeah, it may very well indeed. As now, Dr. Tom, what does he have in store here? No, TG Carter going after him here. Has him up and takes him down. Oh, a big brain buster. And what is. Oh, Wait, what is he thinking about here? here? Oh my goodness. Oh. And this can be oh, it. Oh, Paul distracting the ref right there. And that. What uh, that that could have been a three count. Up there. You know, it's that corkscrew shooting star press. I mean, I moved the. Well, Neville made famous. Yeah. Oh, he's going back up top again. Oh, no, and oh. taking him down. And well, maybe Dr. Tom's plans could have been the steel steps there on the outside. What does he have in store here for TG Carter? But no, TG Carter laying on the offense here. Yeah, now TG Carter's got something planned. There's, oh, double underhook suplex there. Yeah. Oh, and it's working over on the arm. And of course, the opposite arm, of course, which he applied that arm bar here. Maybe he's trying to work on both of the arms here. So maybe he won't be able to hit Ring Force Titus. Yeah, possibly there is snap suplex there by TG Carter. And he's just dominating at the moment. It's the ref up to a six count, look like. Yeah, up to a six count. Seven count now. Dr. Tom still walked out of it, finally regaining consciousness here. Right now, they're going to go right back at it again. But now, throwing him into the corner. But oh, no, it's just a big reversal there. A yeah, big reversal, but then another big reversal was Dr. Tom still in this matchup without just trying to choke the life out of TG Carter. But oh, it looks like Carter's fighting. Yeah, yes, fighting he is. Out of it. Yeah, and of course. Dr. Tom could be thinking about ring for at the same time, but oh, the oh. reverse Hurricanrana! This oh, can be it! The same move that Notorious does. This can be it. One, two, three! And well, the bunny and his new client, TG Carter, picked up the win. And well, we'll be seeing TG Carter at WrestleMania to go against Shinsuke Nakamura. Yummy. Yeah, what a return, what a victory, but you're a disgrace to Canada. Not a disgrace. Well, with that being said, Tim, say goodbye to the fans. Goodbye, fans. Yeah, well, guys, I'm, of course, the main commentator, Mark and Mark. And that is all for Raw this week. I will see you guys for Superstars.